Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you've not seen my videos before, I'm Bex. I'm mum to Finley, he's 10 months old near enough, and I make videos about parenting, lifestyle, and motherhood after infertility, and I upload every Monday. And today's video is all about new mum essentials. It struck me that there's loads of videos out there for newborn essentials or six month old baby essentials, but nothing really out there from a new mum perspective and a first time mum perspective at that. So I thought I would do just a quick video to run through a few of the things that I found really useful. So uh, I'll get on into it. So the first thing that I think you really, really need if you haven't already got one is um, a coat with a hood. Um, this one's from Primark. I think it's between 15 and 20 pounds. There you go. So I ended up getting this um, a few days, well not the specific one, I ended up getting the um, Cagoules, you know the really cheap Cagoules that they do, that was the spring version of that, which I then lost in a drunken escapade, but well, that's another story. Um, so yeah, I ended up getting that one from Primark and it was between 15 and 20 pounds, um, but I've got my first coat with a hood a few days after so I finally came home from hospital and I realised suddenly that an umbrella um, plus a pram and a windy rainy day wasn't really going to mix. Not necessarily the most fashionable items but they are really practical. My second essential is BB cream. I didn't use BB cream at all until I started having really sleepless nights and I really noticed a difference just in how I looked and how tired I looked. Um, so I'm not really a sort of foundation girl, I find it quite heavy and I don't like the feel of it on my face but I would really recommend this, it's the L'Oreal Glam Nude and it's in light to medium um, with SPF 20 and it goes on, it's white and then when you then when you rub it into the skin it sort of mimics whatever colour skin yours is. Obviously this isn't the best match because it's on my hand rather than on my face. But um, it just gives your skin that sort of luminous feel that you need when you've only had what an hour and a half to three hours sleep. Um, so yeah really recommend this. Got this from Boots. I think it was about six pounds but I've definitely noticed a difference when I've worn that compared to just how my skin usually is. My next uh, beauty item eyelash curlers. So if you curl your eyelashes, whack a bit of mascara on and put your BB cream on, you can fake it pretty well at looking like you've had seven hours sleep instead of the minimal amount of sleep you probably will have had. But yeah, the quickest way to look wide awake really is to curl your eyelashes. That and uh, 10 tons of coffee. Okay, my next new mum essentials, um, Kirby grips and black hair ties. You will most likely have your hair in a mum bun at some point and um, it's the fastest way to just shove your hair up out the way and fake it looking okay along with um, dry shampoo which any new mum will testify if your hair is generally caked in this stuff to uh, try and stave off yet another day of not managing to, to wash the hair. So yeah these are complete new mum essentials. I would also say that Finley keeps pulling my hair so I'm constantly have to, having to tie it up out of his way because um, it hurts now as well. Depending on the time of year that you have your baby, uh, if you in the summer I just found that I lived in sort of harem pants, again these are all Primark, all these clothes that I show you are from Primark, but um, had these harem pants and these are like wide leg swishy swishy versions um, which I just found really cool in the summer so I just wore them and vest tops and I just found that they're the easiest things to throw on in the morning when you don't have much time to get ready they're really comfortable and it's a bit like being able to wear pyjamas but outside in an acceptable form so Particularly the early days I was breastfeeding and I just found that throwing on a vest top and harem pants just was a go-to easy thing to put on in the morning. In the winter my mum essential 
as you'll probably see from loads of the, my previous videos, basically lived in this cardigan all autumn. I've got three of them, so uh, all in the same colour. But the, it's just a really sort of slouchy, fine knit cardigan uh, with pockets. And I just find it covers a multitude of sins. It's good with layering things up. Um, it covers like your tummy area where you feel a bit uncomfortable and self-conscious. And as any new mum will know, babies pass it or sick quite a lot. And it just means that if it covers something else, you can always take that off and you've got a top that's most likely not splattered with something so you, so you do well. My last new mum essential um, applies if you're um, expressing milk really, but this rather sexy item um, to be honest, it's, it's hideous looking, let's be frank, but uh, it looks like some weirdo S&M sort of outfit. But um, it's a pumping bra and the funnel for the pump would go through there. And if you're looking enough to have a double pump, then obviously then you'd be able to use it for both of them. Otherwise, we'd just put whichever side we're pumping, you would have access to. Like I said, it's not the most fashionable item, but it is a lifesaver in that if you have the Medela swing breast pump, you end up sort of having to hold that on and you, you basically just have to do things one-handed all the time. And if you're breastfeeding on one side and pumping on the other, unless you're some magically gifted person, I just found it really difficult to sort of juggle everything. And then a bit later on when I was just exclusively pumping, it just meant that I would have one hand free to then sort of sit and read a magazine, drink a cup of coffee um, and try and sort of relax whilst I was pumping and before it was just impossible because I was having to constantly sort of hold the um, the pump on. So this was, I think it was about £18 from Amazon and it's the Medela, um, yeah it's the Medela pumping bra. So they're my new mum essentials. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Click subscribe if you want more videos about parenting, lifestyle and motherhood after infertility. And um, hit the bell so you know when my videos go up. And I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye.